Aloha and welcome in again. David here with CryptoTutorials.org. Uh, today we're going to go over one of my favorite layer three things on the, on the Binance Smart Chain. This is called Bog Finance. Um, really cool platform. Adds a whole bunch of limit orders and trailing stop losses and different things to your standard DeFi swap experience. All right, so do me a favor. Hit the like button down below, uh, smash that big red subscribe button, let YouTube know that you like learning about all this cool stuff. If you have questions along the way, tap them in the comments. I'll be glad to answer them and try to help you out with them. And let's get started. Warning, I am not a financial advisor and this is not investment advice. Seek a professional. Hey guys, before I jump in on this video, I wanted to let you know that I have been finding some absolutely phenomenal airdrops lately. In fact, some of them are so good that I'm gonna start doing videos and making sure to share them with you so you don't miss out on this opportunity. But there's never gonna be a way I can share all of them. There's so many going on that you really need to be able to do the research yourself. So do me a favor, go to getmyfreecrypto.com. I uh, put in the web address right down there at the bottom of the screen getmyfreecrypto.com. There's going to be a, a link right there when you go and you can sign up for our $97 Air, airdrop masterclass, totally free. Zero cost to you right now. You can learn how to pick up tokens on your own for free, uh, how to get tokens just sometimes for owning tokens. So it's a really easy thing, getmyfreecrypto.com. You don't wanna miss out on this. So this is the homepage for Bogged Finance. It's bogged.finance is the, is the URL. Um, and you can see it's got a little bit of information here on order history, limit orders, migration, uh, make migration claims. That's for anybody who may have missed out on migrating the old BOG token to the new BOG token. Uh, but we're going to head on in and we're going to go first take a look at the charts. This is usually where I start off. Uh, one of the nice things you'll notice right away with BOG Finance is that it pulls up everything in your wallet. So my wallet is linked uh, to this page and it's going to go ahead and pull up the balances of each of the different tokens that I have, how much, what the current value is, what the change is, and it also pulls up a nice candlestick chart as well as a list of the most recent transactions. So just a lot more information right in front of me uh, immediately than I'm getting in any other one particular source. Uh, so big fan of that. Always like getting good information. Um, I'm gonna give you guys a quick overview of how to do a, uh, a trade or a swap on here, and then we'll go in and look at some of the other deeper features. Um, but first, let's go ahead and get that, that swap underway. Now, I'm not gonna pick up a lot of BOG Finance today because I, as you can see, I already own some. Um, so I'm just gonna pick up a little bit just to show how it works here on the platform. But you will go over here to trade. And it pulls up the trading page. And this is doing the stop limits. I wanna do, oh maybe, I'm sorry, I wanna do swap. Uh, and I'm gonna put in, one, I'm gonna buy one bog, which is gonna cost me 0 .003 BNB. Um, and as you can see, they've got it routed, wrap BNB to bog through ape swap. This Bog Finance will go through a whole bunch of different people. They'll go through Pancake Swap, they'll go through Uniswap, they'll go through Ape Swap. Uh, they'll combine different ones, and they're really good at finding a, a good price for it. So if I click Swap there, it's going to pull up. It's going to tell me what the gas fee is on this. Um, kind of silly, the amount I'm spending in the gas fee are basically the, almost the same, I think. Uh, zero, one... Yeah, half as much 50% gas fee, but I don't really care. I'm just doing this to show the example. We click confirm there. As you can see, I had, what, 101.39 bogs, and then 102.34. So I don't know why I didn't get a complete one bog there. Maybe a little bit has to go to a liquidity pool probably. I, I don't know for sure on it, but that's kind of the standard thing that happens when you lose a little bit but yours, it's been done. I can view it on BSC scan if I want, but that's it. So as you can see, it functions well as an exchange built on top of other exchanges, but a exchange platform. But really the power of Bog Finance is in some of the other tools that it makes available for you. Uh, so I'm gonna go onto our stop limit orders and you're gonna see here it pulls up this page where I can do limit buys and limit sells. Uh, now this is pretty powerful. Uh, <laughs> I forgot I actually had this one. This is an old uh, limit order that never f has fired and probably never will. It was a scam token. I'll uh, I'll do a link to it. It's a it's a 
pretty annoying scam that somebody got me on with one of these tokens. But uh, anyway, so that's where your limit orders would line up, any limit orders that you have already. But let's say that I want to do a limit order. I'm going to select my token. I'm going to say bogged finance. So I want to buy those bogs and I need to tell it how much I want to spend. And it's asking in the, in BUSD, I could do it in BNB. So let's say I want to, I've got 0.2 BNB. I'm willing to spend 0.1 BNB. Normally right now that would get me 32.67 bogs, but I want to wait on a deal. I want to see if it goes down. So let's say I want to wait and make sure that for my 0.1 BNB, I can get 40 bogs. If you set it up to where 0.1 BNB can get me 40 bogs, then I am going to um, go ahead and pull the trigger on that. And that requires it to go down 22.4%. So that's a limit order I could do on the buy side. On the sell side, let's say I have 102 bogs. Let's say I want to sell 50 bogs. And right now I could get 0.15 BNB. But I want to say if it gets up to where you can get me 0.2 BNBs, which would be an increase of 31% from right now, I want you to go ahead and set it, sell it. And I got to set a slippage, probably 1% would be fine for most of these. Um, these are tokens that have pretty high liquidity. But if the smaller the token, the more you might have to put in there. Now here it says, limit orders cost $2.50 worth of BOG per order. Please note, your BOG will not be taken from your wallet until the order executes. If you do not maintain a balance of at least 50 BOG, your order will be canceled. Your order will be canceled if it is not filled within 31 days. So because my BOG has never executed, I should theoretically be able to cancel this, right? Let's see what happens. I'm going to cancel my order. And it looks like there's a gas fee for canceling it. I don't know. We'll play it. Whatever. There you go. My order was canceled. All right. So that was my old order that I canceled. Now beyond this, there are stop loss orders, which are something that you really can't get anyone anywhere else with, with trailing, in particular trailing stop losses. Um, this, you need 5,000 bogs to do. The last one that we were just looking at limit orders, I'm pretty certain those required, um, I thought it said 50 bogs, but I thought it was 100 bog before. That used to be the amount that was required to um, to do a stop, let's see, okay, that's what it is. A stop loss you can do for 100 bog, but a trailing stop loss requires 5,000 bogs. So these are both really nice features to have. Um, a stop loss just means, you know, if, if it goes down a certain amount, sell your token. A trailing stop loss actually gives it a percentage behind it to follow. So, it, you know, if your token's worth $100 and it goes up to 200 that stop loss will follow it by whatever percentage you said. So suddenly, you know, if it was a $100 token it would, and you had a and you had a 3% stop loss, it would have to go to $97 for you to sell it. If it became a $200 token and you still had that 3%, now it would have to go to $194. But it would follow it all the way up so that if there ever was a drop of more than 3% at any point, boom, it would trigger the sale. So it's a very nice way to lock in profits. Um, there's also a sniper feature, um, and I do not know a whole lot about this one. Your bog balance counts towards your priority rate, um, and I don't know what priority you have to get to get these, but I am not there yet. You need 750 to use the token sniper, so it looks like that's less than the trailing stop, uh, but... They know the value of that. They know that trailing stops are something that you can't do on any other exchanges. You can't do them on Binance. You can't do them on KuCoin. You can't do them on Coinbase. At least I'm pretty sure you can't do it on any of them. Binance being the only one, maybe. Um, they also now are doing staking, and then there's your trade history. So that's a quick run over of uh, Bog Finance. As you can see, there's a lot of really powerful tools that are in here. Some of them are going to require you to uh, hold some of the token. So while the token's cheap, that's an easy time to go ahead and pick up some of it. If it becomes a more expensive token, these features will become a little bit more exclusive and a little harder to get a hold of, all right? Thank you so much, guys. Click like and subscribe down below. Let YouTube know you like learning about all these cool new platforms that are out there, and I will keep showing them to you. Much aloha.